Yeah, go ahead. But we still got to set up. I, I'll cut it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, we could, you could do multiple videos. You could do uh, like meal preparation. You could do um, ideas for, you know, what types of food you can eat to keep your calorie count low, but you get yeah. to eat a lot of food. You could go over, um, we could make meals once in a while. Just say, hey, you know, uh, instead of building some weight, Thing, we're gonna have a cookout and we're gonna eat food and we're gonna show you how to cook on there the grill go. That's a good We're gonna show you how to cook on the grill drink a beer with your buddies and still be under 600 calories yeah. And then we can just fire the grill up and cook some food because I eat like um, um, I get pork burgers at Martin's and there are deli made pork burgers and one of them is half of a regular cheeseburger Sweet. Yeah, so like I've done research man. I'm I know what to do All right, let's uh Anyway, you tell me when to start, and then you just ask me questions, I guess, or I can ramble on for another half hour. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Have you ever felt... Are you listening? Damn. I think I might be worse off than you. I get... I saved my cups from Union Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those cost you more than $2. Yeah, they do. They cost you well, like let me get it out. Hey, what's up, guys? You see my buddy here? I'm workout diabetic, man. This guy, we call him Big D. No, nobody's ever called him that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not big anymore either. All right, so uh, you see I got a special guest. Uh, mind if I use your name? Yeah, go for it, man. All right, cool. so Dustin here, he's been a friend of mine for a long time. Back when we were running the jungles <laughs> and uh he's lost over 70 pounds well 70 or so here i'll let him talk about it go ahead tell him your story so oh about three years ago i was uh 245 at my heaviest um i was having trouble getting around um with my job i'm on my feet eight hours a day and uh it was just getting stressful just getting up and going to work every day um i had blew my knee out twice in a week just getting up off of the floor um hey what what do you do for a living i'm a cnc machinist oh okay so, so you're kind of kind of still but on your feet right so I, yeah so i stand all day I, I walk a little bit i probably walk three four miles a day but it's not fast walking I'm not carrying weight or anything but I'm you know I'm up and I'm moving I'm active so all that extra weight I'd been carrying around was really starting to drag me down you know so uh, after I blew my knee out a couple of times I was wearing a knee brace kids you know of course my kids are 10 12 15 they want to go out and do stuff and I just want to sit on a couch because I was wore out all the time so, uh, my wife kind of is the um, bearer of bad news, and she said, hey, you're fat. <laughs> and, and I looked yeah. in the mirror, and I said, you know, she's right. It's, so, cra it's kind of crazy to think about how um, our love life oh, yeah. will really motivate you to lose weight because, right, you right. know, you guys know all about that stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was kind of a, a group of a whole bunch of things, and then um, work makes me do a health screen every year for my insurance. I get a discount on my insurance. The healthier you are, or no, it oh, doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter how healthy you are. Right. You just go in and they check your blood and they check your weight, blah 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 blah, and then your doctor gives you the coach speech. You need to lose weight. Yeah, you need yeah. to quit eating bacon. <laughs> you need to get on the you know diet plan, all this, and so. And then you get a discount on your insurance. So I go in and my doctor, of course, he says, you know, you're going to end up with diabetes at your weight. You need right. to lose a bunch of weight and all this I've stuff. I've heard that one. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's heard that. And so I said, well, what do you want me to weigh? And he said, well, with your height, technically you should be about 150 to 160. And, and he uh, said, what are you now? Um, 165. Now, are you comfortable at 165? Is that I'm going 
I'm shooting for 159. 159. Is that just a number that you thought that, of? Well, everybody goes for a regular number, and I wanted to be 160. <laughs> I wanted to be... so. I, I wanted to be 160, but I thought if I'm 160, then the next day I'm going to be over 160. I'm going right. to be mad again. Yeah. So I thought, I'm going for 159, and then I can stay at 160. All right. So um, what is your diet? How many calories? Do you know how many calories your body uses through the day and how many that you're supposed to eat? Or are you just, how are you doing this? Do you have a Okay, so I, I, yeah, I can make it real simple. All right. It does not matter what you eat. The only thing that matters is counting your calories. Right. I have, I got the MyFitnessPal app on my phone. I started tracking my food. Hold on. If you got that MyFitnessPal, find us. Yep, find me. It's uh, Dustin2579 on MyFitnessPal. I'll friend you. You can look. Um, I got everything is, is public. So you can actually, you can see what I eat every day, every meal, every snack, everything is all on there. You can look it all up. Um, How about nutrients? Can you see? Yeah, that stuff is all I'm on just, there too. But I don't track anything. The I'm only just, thing I'm I, just now getting into the uh, fitness. Yep, it, and it, it has all that stuff on there and it's all free. I like comparing my daily nutrients. So when I have a bad eating day, uh -huh. I'll look at the nutrients compared to my good one. And like you say, the what, the food you eat doesn't matter. Right. It's the amount of calories you eat. Yep. But what I'm trying to tell everybody is you can eat a lot more good food. Yeah. Then you, you can know, bad food. You and you bad. figure that out real quick because in the first <laughs> week I was starving to death. I'd eat breakfast and I'm like, I can't eat for the rest of the day. Right, and then the right. next day I'm like, I got to figure out how I get to eat two meals today. <laughs> so instead of eating two corn dogs for breakfast, I'm eating corn a dogs. corn dog for breakfast and a corn dog for lunch. And then, uh -oh. you know, next thing you know, I start figuring out, okay, what foods, because I got to eat more, right? Yeah. And I started figuring out what foods had the calories in them that I like to eat that would give me my three meals a day. So over the time, I've gotten really good. So I found out like green beans, one serving of green beans is 20 calories. So if you want to eat a cheeseburger, you can eat a cheeseburger and then follow up with green beans and you can eat green beans till you throw up and it's only 100 <laughs> calories. And uh, what are the nutrients like in green beans? Uh, they're great because yeah. it's, it's full of uh, uh, iron, it's full of... Uh, Probably some potassium in potassium there. Potassium in there. Yeah, it's just, it's good food. But the one you know, I like, the one that I like a lot is um, Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm not Bru a big fan of well, Brussels sprouts, but they're good for you. So some people are, some people aren't. But. Yeah, and uh, the the thing that I've done, you know, real quick, I figured out I need to change my idea why I'm eating. Right. You know, I'm not eating because I like it. Right, yeah. Now, yep. you know, I'm eating to be healthy now. So, if I got to eat Brussels sprouts because I can eat a bushel. <laughs> <laughs> right. And be get all my protein, right. all, all these uh -huh. nutrients, I'm just going to do it. And I use, uh, I cook them up in some uh, real butter. Okay, yep. You know. That's something else that I do is I try and buy natural foods. Yeah, yeah. I try to buy as little processed food as possible now. You can't get completely away from processed food, but you can make the choice. Like I eat um, for lunch every day, I eat a lunch meat sandwich, but I don't buy the pre-packaged lunch meat like at Walmart or you know at the mm. gas station. I go to the deli oh, and I have man. them slice the lunch meat for me. And it's still processed, but it's less processed. Okay. And it, the calorie count in that is a lot lower. Really? Yeah. So, you know, you hear a lot about um, people saying that eating healthy is expensive. Right. And then you talking about the deli meat makes me think he's spending an extra $4 a pound. I, I pay a little bit more for the food that I buy, but I eat a lot better than anyone I know. Right. I'll go to work and guys at work will say, how are you losing all that weight? Oh, you're starving yourself to death. You don't eat nothing. And I go, why don't you pay attention to what I eat for lunch? Because right, yeah. you're eating a cheeseburger out of the vending machine. It's and 800 I'm, calories. And I'm eating pork chops and mashed potatoes. Right. 
So who's starving to death? And it's also, not this I guy. think you know <laughs> the the cheaper foods, the bad foods are cheaper, right? Which allows you to eat. More several servings uh-huh so and the calories are higher because it's yeah, not even real food there's no nutrients there's, yeah there's no nothing so if you're uh, if you're buying the healthy food and you stick to a uh, proper portion size you might not actually be spending more money right right but, and what what a lot of people do is they fall into that trap where they get on tv they see it on TV mm. and they go, I'm going to pay this $300 a month and they're going to send me these prepackaged meals. Sodium in the box. Yeah, and that <laughs> stuff is garbage, man. Well, I spend hey, way real less quick money. though, let me interrupt you. Uh huh. We have uh, most of my viewers are women that do Weight Watchers and uh, we're not here trying to knock anybody's diet. If it's working for you, it's good for you. But uh, the point he's making is we don't have to spend all this additional money. If we do the work ourselves. Right. Yeah, and you know the the meals that they send you, if that yeah, like he's saying, if that's working for you, don't change the way you're doing things. But the meals aren't what's making you lose the oh. weight. What's making you lose the weight is sticking with your diet, sticking with your plan, and then believing in yourself. Because at the end of the day, there that's it where it's all at. Yeah, believing that's in yourself. Where it's at. And it took me a long time. I mean, just until the last few months, I didn't realize how much I had changed until my wife said, you're not even the same person you were two years ago. I said, no, yeah, I am. I am. And she goes, no, you're not. I said, I'm still, I'm not happy with the way I look. And she said, you don't look anything like you did before. So she started showing me pictures. And I think he's going to uh, put some pictures yeah, in here uh, we'll a little take bit a, later. We'll take a break real quick and you check out these pictures real fast there's the break yeah so the, <laughs> so until she showed me those pictures because I don't have pictures of myself I didn't realize how much progress I had really made because I just get up every morning I look in the mirror and you know I go on with my day I knew I was doing better so my wife actually told me you have to buy new clothes and I said, mm. why? She said, because your clothes don't fit. Look like a bum. Yeah. And I said, well, I'm not buying new clothes. And she goes, well, why not? I said, and I think that was um because I had started out, I was like 245. And, uh, and I had made it down to like 210. And I said, well, I'm not buying new clothes. And she said, well, why not? I said, because I'm not done losing weight. And All I ain't right. buying clothes yeah. four times. Yeah. So I went to work for about a year wearing clothes that were about two sizes too big. Because I was too cheap to go buy clothes that fit That's until right, later. That's man. We don't need so, to waste money. Right. So I've actually, uh, I think I've dropped, I was wearing a size 40 waist pants. Oh, wow. And now I'm wearing 32s and they're too big. That's crazy that you say uh, you're 245 wearing size 40. Yeah. And I'm 280 wearing size 40. Yeah. So I'm trying to look like... Juan Iglesias or something. <laughs> well, and you know, a lot of that has to do with muscle mass um, and, oh yeah, and, body, and body fat. Height, height right. Because yeah, I'm right. not very tall. And then, of course, I was got a giant beer belly, and I've had that <laughs> since I was 14. So, Yeah, this guy, when I, when I uh, met him, he didn't go to work on Mondays. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No. Monday was Recovery. an extra Sunday. Extra Sunday, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're going to make Atlas Stones. You know anything about Atlas Stones? I don't. I don't actually work out that
All right, well, we're back from the store. We got, uh, we spent 11, 12 dollars and uh, got some pretty good deals. We got this concrete over here, the torn bags for a dollar fifty. A bag, a bag yeah. dollar fifty. Bought some chains. Let's go take a look. I'll show you what we got here. So, hold on here. All right, so we got some high pro finish concrete and a couple bags of quick crete. So if you know anything about concrete, let me know because I don't. And we got up oh, there. I'll cut that out. Here's this chain. Dustin said that he's been eating such good food that he's going to be able to take this chain. So we didn't get it cut. We didn't cut it. He said he's going to be able to take this chain and bite it and cut the links. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be crazy. You going to do that? I don't know. I'm trying to get my uh, <laughs> ego up. All right, we'll get it up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about we're about dead on the battery, so we're going to do this real quick, show you what's going on. All right, so we got a big blue ball, which is actually a medium size, yep, and, a def right and a deflated, uh, and what an is old that? basketball. Old deflated basketball. And we're going to fill these up. We got our concrete ready. One over there, we got our mixer, and we're gonna use these buckets. We're gonna put concrete in there, put water, mix it up, fill these balls up, see how it goes. We'll be back, show you the progress in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll be back. We have, you know, you'd start out with two, then go to four, then go to six. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. All right, guys, we got these balls done. It was, uh, Learning Man, it was a learning experience. Sorry, we didn't. Uh, you didn't be able to watch us make them because the battery was running low. We had to charge it up. But once you take a look at this, you'll see how it, how easy it is, and I'll run you through the process real quick. All right, there they are. You see the chains there. So all we did was mix the concrete. All we did was, where you at? I'm right here. All we did was mix the concrete. Well, how much you say is in there all together? About 30 pounds of concrete a piece? Yeah, probably. And two, uh, two bags of 50 pound bags of concrete and you'll have some left. Yeah, there's some left over, maybe 20 pounds left over. Yep. And uh, the water though, the water increases the weight. So there's probably about 30 pounds of concrete plus another 10 15 pounds of water maybe after they fully dry then we'll throw them on a scale and we'll know exactly how much each one of them weighs yeah and uh the chain the purpose for the chain that was dustin's idea so why don't you tell them about that idea real quick yeah so um kind of came up with the idea that if we put a chain in the top of there that um, later on we could either put a handle on them and you could deadlift them and carry them or you could lift them or like he's been talking about is getting a board and we can actually take some eye hooks screw them in the ends and you can hook those chains onto the eye hooks and then you can deadlift both of them at the same time and do squats yeah and, and then uh, over time you can yeah, add more and is. more to it there we go so we make more of them and then by the time i'm about 50 years old 60 years old and i can't lift these anymore i'll you just cut pass them on to the grandkids pass them on <laughs> I'll probably cut the balls off of them and lay them along the driveway, landscape, landscape yeah. so boulders. That's the other thing we learned too was don't use cheap balls. Go to yard sale, yeah. get them for a nickel, get them for a quarter. Old basketballs, volleyballs, soccer balls, so we, because they're a lot stiffer and they're going to hold their right. and they're going to. We, we tried. Them. Let me take you over here. We tried the uh, big blue ball, and uh, here's the result of that one. You see it there, that blue ball just kind of, once it was uh, punctured, it kind of just tore, ripped real easy. So even though it was the bigger size, and that would have been nice to have, you know, a giant 
160 pound ball it just wasn't working out we have to keep our eyes out for something round that's a thicker material that will hold up to the concrete yeah so that's the balls all right so we're going to sit down a little bit and we're going to talk back talk with dustin a little bit more about his uh weight loss uh on our trip you'll see our trip you know we went to the store he, he was making some good points telling me about things that he's experienced so we're just going to cover some of those real quick and then i think the video's done you met Dustin, that's it. Because I'll talk forever. All right, so we're going to wait for those balls to dry. <clears throat> I want to show you what that's like. But uh, here's Dustin. He got some uh, ideas for another show. So he might become a returning, a reoccurring guest on the channel, which would be pretty awesome because I think it's, it's nice to have other people on. And I might even reach out to more Facebook friends after this one after they see how much fun we had, they might come and uh, I'll have more guests. We'll see how that happens. But uh, yeah, Dustin, if you want to go ahead and uh, you want to share something else. Um, yeah. I, In the um, car, you were telling me about uh, once you've been doing this for three years, you said. Yeah, it took me so, three years. So I actually fell off. 70 pounds in three years. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of trouble that I find is I want to hit my goal as fast as possible. You know, like I was yeah. telling you, I was telling them before that there was one summer I lost 90 pounds in two months, three months. I, I don't know, what's the summer? Three and a half months? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. and uh, I was walking the country block, which is about four to six miles, depending on yep. which block. And I was picking up cans with this weight vest ankle weights i was mm -hmm. carrying about 90 pounds extra oh, man. weight yeah and uh the weight came off real quick and i got to my goal in three months and i i was on top of the world you know yeah and then winter came and i couldn't keep <laughs> up i couldn't keep up with my exercise yeah so my body was used to burning all these calories and then all of a sudden all that extra burning calories has stopped right and then and you put all the weight I back. I put on. all the weight back. So I'm lazy. I'll be the first one to admit I am lazy. So I went out and um, I kind of looked at what other people do and how other people lose weight. And I thought, if I go to the gym 30 minutes a day and I lose this weight, in order to keep it off, like you said, I'm going to have to go to the gym 30 minutes a day forever. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Does anybody want to do that? No, no I got other things I want to do. I want to watch TV and not be fat. So what I what I did was I did exercises that I can handle doing every day and that I can handle doing for a long extended period of time. So like um, every morning I get up, I do 50 push-ups and I do 50 leg lifts. The only reason I'm doing those is because I want to firm up my stomach a little bit and most of the body fat that I have left is in my chest and my stomach and so what I found is if I don't exercise my body just kind of eats fat wherever it wants it'll eat it out of my face it'll eat it out of my arms my legs and then I look in the mirror and I still got a beer gut and I'm mad because I'm I'm losing the weight but I'm not losing it where I want to lose it so what I've done is I've started doing small exercises because I'm not trying to you know be some big bulk buff dude i just You're lazy want, right i'm lazy <laughs> i just want to tone my body up a little bit and lose the fat in the areas where i want to lose the fat right so that's why i um i do more stretches than i do exercises I and mean, that just helps keep my back because i got a bad back it keeps my back flexible it keeps me energized i feel good throughout right the day. And, uh, and doing it over the three years mm -hmm. i think that that's really the key right here is what we're talking it, about yeah you gotta you be go too fast if you go too fast, you got to keep that pace to progress. Right, to what progress, if, or if or even the, just stay where you're at. Right. right, and if you do the incremental changes over a long period of time, then you, you build that habit. That you you're build, yep. About. You build the life change, and you get to keep the results that you want and that you like, and and that's that's the real thing. But the the biggest thing you have to do is you have to log your meals every day. And you have to count your calories. It doesn't matter how many. You don't have to count fat. You don't have to count protein. You don't have to count 
carbs. You don't have to count any of that crap. What you have to do is you have to count your calories and you have to keep them where you need them. Now, I'm not a doctor. I know you're not a doctor. I'm you guys out there, I know you guys aren't doctors. The easiest thing to do is the MyFitnessPal app. You plug in your height. Find us on MyFitnessPal. Yep. You plug in your weight. <laughs> You plug in your height and you plug in how much you want to lose. It does the math for you and it says you need to eat this many calories or less right. per day to, to reach your goal. And then just do that. You know, if you're going to go over your calories, let's say you want to go to Wendy's and eat a, eat a, triple, cheeseburger a triple cheeseburger. That's okay. <laughs> We're not saying that you can't eat. But when you That's do that. That's all your calories for the day though. Yeah. When you do that, you need to log it on the app so that you can physically see, okay, if I go to Wendy's. And then I, even if I eat healthy the rest of the day, I'm still over my calories. So what can I do differently to work in the things that I want? There you go. But still get the results that I want. Because I, I don't not eat food. Like every day for lunch, I'll, I eat an ice cream bar. It's a low fat ice cream bar. Or I get, um, the other thing I like is I like fudge bars. Yeah. So I'll get the low fat fudge bars. It's 80 calories or 100 calories in one fudge bar. And I, I get to eat ice cream. I get to, you know, do And this is uh, after stuff. the three years, though. Yeah, that's that's today. So Today, when I eat lunch a lot of today. Work. You put in a lot of work to get to this point. Right. I, I've, I've sacrificed. Over the three years, you, you know, I've learned what I can eat, what I can eat, what works well, what doesn't work well. You know, like I, well, like I was telling them. Um, uh, workout tell, diabetic man. Workout diabetic man, <laughs> yeah, in, in the car. I eat the same thing for breakfast every day. And I have my food pre-made, so I take muffin pans, and maybe we can show you this in a in a later episode or yeah, something. That'd but, be good. but what I do is I I bought oversized muffin pans, and I'll take two eggs, I scramble them in a mixing jar uh, cup, and then I pour them into the muffin pan, and I do twelve of them because I got two muffin pans, and that's two eggs, and then I put them in the oven for four hundred degrees for ten to twelve minutes till my eggs are done. Then I put them in Tupperware containers, and then every morning when I get up, one of those little muffins is two eggs, which is 140 calories. So, and then I have I mat I make a whole bag of hash browns, and I put that in a container. And then when I get up in the morning, I just grab three ounces of hash browns, throw it on the plate. I get my two scrambled eggs. I throw it on my plate. I get a couple uh, turkey sausage links. I throw it on my plate. I already know because I have the meal saved on my Fitness Pal as breakfast. And then I just throw it in the microwave. I hit a minute. I pull my phone out. I hit breakfast, my fitness pal. And then it adds those calories right to my list. And then breakfast is done. Yeah. In a minute and a half, I'm eating breakfast. And I'm eating a better breakfast than anybody I know. Because I'm getting eggs, sausage, hash browns, and a glass of water. I mean, right. my kids are eating cereal, you know? And the thing that I like about the fitness pal is there's two things. One thing I don't like. And there's another thing that I do like. Okay. And the, the thing that I do like is that for me, I have a, I set a carb goal. Cause you know, I'm trying to do the low carb keto style okay. diet. Yep. And uh, the point for that is to mitigate my insulin response. Okay. Because you see in my name, it's diabetic, man. Right, see I'm not so, diabetic. Right. So I, there's a lot of things that I don't have to, I guess, worry about right so this these carbs turn into sugar yeah so that's that's the thing with the carbs so in the fitness pal i can track i can set a goal for my carbs okay. and then when i'm reaching that goal it'll give me alert say hey the food you just yeah, that's ate good. that's good and then you can also do this with fat and protein so those of you that aren't really doing a weight loss but doing a muscle mass you can track your protein in there yeah and um so that's what I do like. And the thing that I don't like is how it gives a generic basement, bottom line of a certain amount of calories they feel is healthy. So what I did the other day is I tracked all my meals yep. and I ate low calorie, high volume foods. Yeah. So I was eating Brussels sprouts, mostly vegetables and yeah, Things there's a like bunch this. of stuff like that. Green beans, yeah. cauliflower, lettuce. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at my nutrients in the fitness pal, and I'm hitting all my goals. All my protein, all my right. fat, all my mm -hmm. all my goals are getting hit. 
but my calories were below 1400 for that day and I, right. I go and I push complete the diary and it gives me an alert telling me that I'm on the unhealthy side of calories so I, I had that problem for a while when I was hitting it real hard there um, there was a section of time where um, between about 210 pounds and I'd say 180 pounds where you know I was just I was mad and I wasn't happy with the way I looked and I was kind of going through some rough times um, in my life outside of you know my weight and so I kind of channeled that energy and I was using an ab lounger so and what you're, are you saying that you were doing making unhealthy weight loss choices no I wasn't, but I was channeling that energy, and I was using that energy in a positive way. Okay. And I was exercising more and being unlazy. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, um, I think I was doing, um, I don't know, a couple, about 150 to 200 sit-ups a day, you know, spread hitting out. Hitting hard. I was, I was hitting it pretty hard. Um, and I was also eating less calories than my fitness pal wanted me to eat. And so it would give me that alarm too. So what yeah. I what I would do in that case is I would try and substitute something for something a little better. So like um, I would eat some um, boneless, skinless chicken, or I would eat something with a little more protein in it because that's what I was going for. But you know, you guys are like uh, if you're diabetic or you have different um, restrictions on your diet, you may go okay. In order to get a few more calories, I can eat this, and that'll boost those calories up a little bit. Right. Because, you know, the the problem, I actually had a, there was a small period there during that, which is one of the reasons why I kind of backed off of exercising so much, is I started getting dizzy during mm. the day and lightheaded, and all I drink is water. It, but the problem was, like you're saying, I was eating too few calories. And so, for a day or two, it's not a big deal, but over four or five weeks... It'll start dragging you down, and it'll you'll start having negative effects on you. You'll still lose weight, and you'll still you know get right. results, so you're, so but, but you're not doing it healthy. So you're saying that um, if I'm listening properly, that the uh, amount of calories does matter. It does, even if I'm hitting my nutrient goal. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's not. Um, it's not a major major deal, but it does it does matter. All it right. does. Yeah, so I just assumed that if I hit my nutrients goals, that my body is going to be getting what it needs. But maybe calories is also something that you need. That you need, yeah. You need those calories just to function. Right, so, right. you know, but you have to keep in mind if you are under your calorie goal, but you've met your protein and your nutrients and all those things, don't go, I got extra calories i'm gonna go get a blizzard at dairy blizzard. queen no go and make yourself a turkey sandwich right you yeah, know get, the... get something healthy and then you'll feel good not only will you be getting extra calories or having a having a snack you'll be eating healthy the other night i was telling you um the other night i don't know if i already went over this or not um but the other night i got home from work and i don't eat after work i work second shift so my my hours are real weird but i got home from work and i was hungry what do most people do? They go get a bag of chips. They go get a, something a, can, a candy fridge, bar or, or, or some ice cream or something. What did I do? I went to the fridge and I got some watermelon. I had fresh cut watermelon. I ate a whole container full of watermelon. You know how many calories are in watermelon? Not very many. And it's right. high in nutrients and it's good for you. Yeah. So even though, even though I broke my rule of not eating after work, I didn't wake I up. I didn't wake up the next day upset with myself. Right. I woke up the next day and, and I thought, hey, even though I broke the rules, I made a positive choice by eating something healthy. Right. I think that's that's what's important here. Right. Uh, we set our we set our rules. Yep. And they're great to follow, and we all know what we need to do. Yep. You know, so let's just do that. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and uh, you're not gonna and you're not gonna hit it 100 percent every time. But over time, over the three years, you know, people ask me, they're like, "Well, how do you not do this? How do you not do that?" I just I haven't done it in so long that I don't want it anymore. Yeah, that's I, the uh, other that's the other part. 
Yeah, you know, building it's... that timeline. Right. The farther you get in your journey, the easier it gets. Maybe the easier and it the is. better it gets. I can sit at the table and watch my kids eat whatever they want, and and I don't want to eat that stuff because I just have no. I love pizza. I haven't ate pizza in. I think last year I probably ate pizza three times a whole year. And I love pizza. I used to eat pizza three times a week. Yeah. I used to eat pizza two times a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so I've kind of gotten away from that. And, I, and, and I'm happy, you know. And that's the thing. You have to figure out what works for you and what makes you happy. And you don't have to lose the weight in, in two months. Right. Because you're not going to be happy with that. You're going to gain some of it back, and then it's just going to make you depressed. Right, right. you gotta, you got to pick a diet that you can stick with. Stick with it. Don't give up. Look us up on MyFitnessPal. You can look at the food that I eat every day. If you have questions for me, shoot uh, Workout Diabetic Man some questions. I'll answer them for you. He can get them back to you. Hit if, like. If, hit the like button down if, there. If you want me on um, next, on, week. on next week or other other episodes, uh, let me know. I'm I'm open to coming back. I like helping people out. I got yeah, hey, ideas. Um, they may be you know, not good ideas. And some of them may be good ideas. We got a lot of bad ideas. Yeah, on. If you go but, through the past videos, you can see a lot of bad ideas. But, you know, the way you learn is trial and error. And so over the course of three years, I made a lot of mistakes. And I made a lot of good decisions because of those mistakes. And so, you know, that's don't just... Don't give up. No, don't give up. Like potato chips. So I like potato chips. So every day at work, I buy those big boxes that has the individual bags of potato chips. Because yeah. I know if I want some Doritos, if I eat a bag of those, when the bag's gone, I'm done. Yeah. I had 160 calories, period. I didn't eat 14 servings because I ate the whole bag. Yeah. You know? So that, you had, that was real easy to do, you know? It is. It is easy to do. And I can do it of, right now. Instead of uh, eating lunch, you grab a bag of chips and some right. salsa or whatever, and you end up eating the whole bag. Yeah. And that's because they're empty calories. Yeah, it's empty and it all it does is drag you down. So I actually, um, I have a digital scale in my kitchen and I weigh all my meat. So when I, um, I eat pork chops, chicken, um, pork burgers, um, T-bone steaks, anything, I weigh it. And then I know my calories, I plug it right into my app, everything is cool, man. And that's, and that's what you gotta do. And over time, you will get the results that you want. It will work for you. So uh, I think uh, I think we're going to wrap it up now. Yeah. <laughs> we got about 40 minutes of uh, footage here, so that's quite a bit. Hey, man. You know, the yeah. average the average YouTube video is somewhere around three minutes. We're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll just split it up, and we'll be good for a month. Yeah. That's that's a good point. Yeah. All right, guys. That's Dustin. You see him. And, uh, yeah, it was from, nice. Uh, from everything talking to you, well, go ahead. Tell him. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, it's uh, nice chatting with everybody. And uh, maybe I'll come back if you guys want me to come back. Um, if you got any questions, yeah, hit me up. Uh, and uh, everything that you've said, kind of you hit every all the points that everybody here is trying to do. We're hitting the lifestyle change. Yeah. You know, changing your diet over a long period of time yep we even hit the uh drinking water yeah drinking the water is important yep what, what else did we hit on we hit on uh logging yeah you, know, logging. you gotta log your food every day no matter what oh, you yeah. eat the other one meal prep yeah so we we've, we've hit all these key areas from dustin here over his three year span without him even being involved in this YouTube thing. Right. So these are all the first things that we learn once we start doing this uh, journey on YouTube. Yeah. We learn about the water. We learn about the food prep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just do it myself, you know. I do all my own grocery shopping. So my wife, she shops for her and the kids. And then I do all my own shopping and buy all my own food because I, I try and buy food that's either um, made in America or it is... Um, as local uh, local or as little processed as possible so even though like cheese is, is high in calories and cheese is, is is hard to work into a diet I buy the local cheese because it's local made my money stays around here 
and it's less processed. So even though I'm getting a little Sound bit like higher, a hipster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, even though even yeah. though I'm getting a little higher fat count, you know, I know I'm not eating stuff that I don't know what it is, you know? Right. Nowadays, you pick up something, you go, what is in this? I don't know. I thought this was supposed to be a chicken. Why, rice, why, why has it got all this other stuff in there? Yeah. You don't want to eat that stuff. To me, that stuff is just empty calories and yeah. extra body fat. And, uh, I don't need that crap. All right, guys. That's it. You heard it. You don't need that crap. That, yeah. Workout Diabetic Man, Dustin, we made those Atlas balls. Check it out. I'll, I'll show you maybe some of those tomorrow after it dries or next week we'll take another look at them yeah next time if i come back then uh, maybe we'll lift them babies up and see who can carry one the furthest i'm guessing he'll beat me <laughs> yeah i guess i've been working out regularly for yeah, a, a little yeah. while if you get me working out dude you may uh you may turn me into a hulk or something i may turn we green will. we'll do that all right hey, you guys keep making those videos keep believing in yourself and we'll see you around peace